Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Layers of Fear. We're back at this workshop. This is where we always start, from what I've gathered. And I don't quite exactly know how many doors we'll have to go through. <gasps> okay. Yes, I remember that from last time. I do remember this from last now, time. Tiny bit to the left. Yes, just like that. I'm not Hold that round. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. Okay, so if we literally, <laughs> we've literally just missed one or, or had to redo one room, but well, that's fine. That is perfectly fine with me. Hello. Another room with a giant painting in the middle. This looks like a living room. Or maybe uh, a library. Maybe a library? With, of course, no um, light key? Light key. Light switch. With no light switch so far. Is there anything in here? No, it doesn't seem to be. It's a statue of a. General or or some army man, or military man. Somebody drank a bit of wine here. Oh, we all know that somebody in this house had a serious problem with with wine. Of course, there are a few broken bottles again. Still don't know who has the alcohol problem, she or him. Of course, rats. Of course, rats. How many rats can run out of this thing? And into the fire, apparently? That is a giant bust. Of... Somebody who seems to be Roman or Greek. So, I could say Cicero. Or if he's Greek, maybe Aristotle. Who knows? One of those guys, probably. Archimedes. If you want to be sophisticated, you've got one of those old Greeks or Romans in your house. Cicero, if it's if it's the talking dude, uh, if it's you know if you want to have what the what the hell was that? And how was the oh oh that's Oscar Wilde, the picture of Dorian Gray. We already know that one. There's a picture of a load of dudes fishing. No, or is that a... There's two... There's at least two women on this picture. And... One, two, three, four dudes. As far as I can see. Trying to fish. I'm guessing. wonder what those plants are. Of course. Holy shit! Man, this is <sighs> some intense shit. I'm telling you, I am scared way too easily. Although this being said, if sudden, if you turn around and there's ah, oh, come on, my phone. <laughs> I'm so sorry, my phone <laughs> is ringing. If you turn around and there's suddenly a what looks like humanoid golem or some such thing. Oh my god, made out of books you'd be scared too I know I would definitely be scared more than I was now oh god that is gruesome Ooh, they're all hanging it looks like they're all hanging I mean it's supposed to be the painting that's gone a bit awry but it looks like they're all hanging now that is weird and so far, you know, we had to do fairly little, didn't we? Didn't have to do much, other than just getting scared here and there. We haven't found another key, we haven't had anything interesting happen here. Sounds like you can hear people outside, or is it just the wind? It's another cabinet. Without anything in it. 
Even the drawers seem to be no, well, not empty, but void of anything interesting. Oh, there we go. No. There we've got something. Hey, in regards to your previous letter, I'm sure I'm nothing to be con oh, I'm sure it's nothing to be concerned about. Women tend to get weird after having a baby, hormone imbalance and the like. When we had our first, I remember Valerie got the blues real bad. I would ask her what she wanted to lunch uh, for lunch and she just burst into tears. Just be there for her and I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Now I know I promised not to rush you and by all means enjoy your well deserved time off, but just let you know, I'm getting phone calls up the Ying Yang Commission calls up the Ying Yang <coughs> Commission's left and right. You're a hot ticket, my friend. Maybe we should strike the iron while it's hot. But of course, the family comes first. Your friend and agent, Thomas Caldwell. So at this point, he seems to have been a very... Well... Asked for painter. Who, of course, didn't do much. Because he had just had a baby. And apparently, his wife got a bit of the blues. Depression, po postnatal depression. Is that what it, I think that's what it's called? Can happen to women. I don't know exactly what triggers it, but they can happen, and it can be pretty severe. Of course, it can also be just very, very mild. I have not yet had the misfortune of witnessing a really bad postnatal depression. I sort of don't want to go in there, but I guess. Oh, it's locked anyway. Great. What do we have here? Hello. It's about time for us to talk, don't you think? I don't know. I mean, I've seen you in my house so many times, and yet I could never find the courage to face you directly. Not until now. Who are you? This is her voice? And why did he come to her house so many times? Did he paint people there? Did he have his workshop in the house? What do we have here? A woman lying on the floor, a man just sitting in front, looking down at her, and two kids really not giving a shit apparently. How about this woman who appears to have been hurt? And a little boy. Okay. Paprika! Just had that for... Right, that's a good sign. If the door closes on its own, that is a very, very good sign. And of course, again, not much light. The light bulb in here is actually already turned on and I can't seem to see much other than apparently again another is that the wine cellar? no 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 that's not wine the, that's the another pantry? is that another pantry? it does look it does appear to be yet another pantry very very weirdly designed Well, actually, I say that. It's probably not a bad idea to have the um, the the shelves in the middle of the room. Actually, you know what? No. Having the shelves all, shelves all around the side would have been better. You'd had, you would have gotten more shelves in there and access would have been easier, I think, personally. Maybe you could have put so, a few shelves here and there um, in the middle. But not everywhere. Looks like this, it's practically impossible to just walk there properly. Okay, okay. Tiles. Bathroom tiles. That seems a bit off. Why would there be bathroom? I guess if this is a pre-room to the... Uh, right, you know, right after the entrance, you might have a room like this with tiles on the floor. So people with dirty boots can... You know, not get the the carpet dirty or the the nice wooden flooring, and just have have some uh, pieces of cloth all around the sides, where they can clean their boots before they enter the main hall. And of course, it leads to the kitchen. 
the hell? And there's something creepy gonna happen here, isn't there? I mean, it's a kitchen. It's practically given that something is gonna happen here. Thing is, if I open all those things, I'm probably gonna find something really disgusting or gruesome in one of those compartments. I sort of don't want to think about it, but I might want to. I might. I might. I might find a head. I'd rather not. This thing is really hard for me to close. I just want to mention that. Everything else is to close. This one, really hard. It does not want to stay closed. Damn it. I tell you to stay closed. You stay closed. There we go. Inspired OCD. Why do I get OCD? What the fuck's happening here? Okay. Holy shit. Right, right. Apple's turning. Apple's turning black. Look. The scale's still working. My hand's still heavier than this thing can actually carry. Everything's fine. We're still in the same kitchen. Oh, come on. Open it. Just for me. Of course there's nothing in there. Just as there's nothing in here. I sort of just want to quickly open them and then close them right away. So if something disgust oh, hello, if something disgusting is in there, I won't have to witness it. Minced mice starving me out chunky crunchy ca car carcasses constantly sick. The hell Okay Right. Sure. Sure. Did he starve somebody out and all they had to eat? Oh, crap. I'm not turning around. Oh my sh- Oh my god. Um... Um... Is everything cool? This- this does not stop moving. That doesn't bode well. Man, I don't want to die here. Please? Please? God. I am so fucking scared. I don't fucking know what to do. I don't want to turn around. La la la! It's pitch black! I can't see anything in- Anyway... Oh god. Just whenever something creepy happens, I'm just freezing off. I just freeze, and then first oh. I looked for a canvas, not just any canvas. I had to find a knife, not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. That looks like so skin. I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. Oh god. What is that? I'm getting scared of the guy we're playing now. Oh, you are kidding me, right? Now whenever any anything really scary happens, my immediate instinct is just to stay frozen in place and let it pass over me like a like a frightened deer. I don't know if that's good. I I imagine it's like it has it some somewhat points to a <laughs> to screwed up fight or flight instinct one that doesn't really do the whole flight thing and doesn't really do the fight thing either it just you know does the whole I if you can see me uh, if you if I can see you you can see me thing Shapeless dreams. Um, is he actually putting the piece of skin on there? Right, that is disgusting. 
can I just say one thing very, very quickly? Has this guy flailed his own wife so as to... Oh, photo album. Make a picture? Oh. Wait, 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 wait. What was that? Even though I have been... Space power, okay. Even though I have not been born yet... Oh, yeah. We found that letter. A few other letters. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A heck of a lot of other letters. And then this book's done. Good, and besides there... Oh, that's just a piece of candle. Yeah, fine, fine. This is taking a... This is taking a very dark turn. Deep breaths, remember, you're a professional. Just the first few strokes, then you're over the hump. What's so hard about it? Dude, I really think he killed his wife. And used her skin and blood and whatnot to... God... First I looked for a cannon, not a cannon. Shit me, I think he really did just genuinely lose his mind. And killed his wife. In a very, very gruesome manner. Whew. So apparently this is kind of a hub thing where this tells you how far you've gotten. May it looks like I've went to chapter one so far. The picture is getting a bit clearer. Although not very much. Uh, and the rest is just collectibles, pretty much. Okay, okay. Shapeless Dreams. It's the name of the chapter, I'm guessing. And again, we are in the veranda. It's supposedly this gets worse. Right? Supposedly this gets worse. Already, the shocking moments are pretty hard for me to take. So hard, in fact, you know, that as I said, you know, I keep freezing in place. Like a frightened deer in front of headlights. What does that do? Can I just... Oh, that's one direction I can turn it. Okay, red light. I can't... I can't... It doesn't turn in the other direction. Okay, fine. Why does it give me a red light? Ah, okay. Because I haven't had the door op uh, closed properly. So how are you doing? How are you doing? I'm doing horrible. I think I missed something, but it's probably for the better. Okay, the past catches on. Oh, catches up. One of those things. Probably all places I'll still have to visit. But for now, we're getting to a fairly well lit floor. I'm liking this. This looks like a nice place. Can I open this door? No, it's closed, of course. I've got a red vase with roses on them. More closed doors. Of course, only the main door can be opened. Nope. The main door cannot be opened. Which means that now magically one of the other doors will will open. Yep. Uh oh. Okay. There's somebody standing there. Oh my lord. I am super fucking scared. Holy shit. Now, this can't just be a really good trick. Now, outside of the window, we see something moving. I think that's a bush. It's fair to assume that this is a bush or a tree, as scary as it looks. But this thing, it doesn't move. And it looks like it was somebody holding up the door. And I'm way too scared to go there again, but we have to. We have to... Now, is that person gone? Nope, that person's still there.
God, that is fucking unbelievably scary. But I think it's just a picture. Damn, that is a one well-placed picture. That is one well-placed picture. I gotta say, kudos to whoever did that because that just scared the shit out of me. It literally did. <sighs> I thought there was a person standing there. Nope, just a picture. Cool. Cool, fine. This is a weird little room. We have a ton of art. Including this bastard, who scared the living daylight out of me. And the child again, who is held up by a... Or dragged away by a... Eagle? And... Oh. Oh, and he's pissing himself. Um... Somewhat understandable if you're dragged away by a giant bird. But anyway... Oh, there's a key. Hello. And a lot to read. Dear sir, while I can certainly understand that you're upset and I have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself, I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Any skin graft produced... Sorry, what? Any skin graft produced... Oh no, any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleague at St. Anne have made colleagues at St. Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe you have done the best job possible considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion, and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will... Now, that word I have never heard in my life before. Ameliorate the situation, which I'm guessing means, you know, <clears throat> improve it. As I've already stated, I can certainly understand you've been under a lot of stress as of late and thus I will not press charges if you refrain from any further correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further theories aimed at my staff. Threats, not theories. Although that would have been an interesting choice of words. My family or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, I can have my assistants provide contact information for several specialists who would be more than compa competent to help you get through these hard times. With regards and best wishes for you and your wife, William H. Green, medical doctor. Okay, this somewhat alleviates my concern. Because that might just mean... Or actually, it doesn't so much alleviate my concern as it um, shifts them from hey, he has killed his wife to he has killed other people in order to harvest skin for his wife. It just it, everything changed once again. This is gonna be closed. Oh no, it's not. Oh, it's not. Fine, okay. I love e as creepy as it sounds in here. I love those little rooms because they're very confined spaces, and I feel like nothing can Why happen to me here. That dude was perfect. Honey, please, Honey, just please. a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. Oh, don't make me beg. Hmm. Oh, we... I think those are the same kind of musical notes that we had already seen before. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Open it. Jesus. Doesn't seem to be anything in there anyway. Why was it so hard for me to open that thing? Oh, right. Now the picture's all weird. Hmm. But this picture is literally the same as the photograph we've taken. Now, scary things happen when I open the door. Well, apparently not. When I step through it, it'll probably go haywire. Nope. I have to talk through all the time because I am way too scared to just um, run through those corridors without any mention of anything and being completely silent. If that annoys you, I guess you'll have to watch other videos, but it kind of calms me down to talk all the time. 
It might be the stupidest thing you can do in a scary house with some possible murder running around. Because if you talk all the time, you're broadcasting your uh, location 24-7. Or let's hope it's not 24-7. But you are broadcasting your um, your location all the time. Doesn't really matter to me though. If you're in a scary haunted house, I think it's not so much the survival part that's gonna matter because he's gonna get sh you sooner or later. It's just the house scared of you before you, well, bite the big one. And if I talk a lot, I am less scared. Even if something super scary happens now. Oh, what the hell? So this door is closed, right? There's no way to. Yeah, yeah. Because this is a linear game. Linear game. Well, a little sorry. And because it saves in rooms. Wow, that is weird. We have to get through this room before we can end the episode. I do want to know though what is in this room. I know how much you can see, but keep in mind whatever you can't see, I can see either. I know I did the whole night vision thing the last episode, but I don't know if that was such a good idea. You don't really see that much more and it's difficult to gauge when to use this night vision thingy and and when to just leave it dark out of dramatic suspense and or because there is some light here and you can see something. Is that it? Is that literally it? I feel like if I look at the floor, nothing will happen. That's a new room. And as I remember, like I said, it saves in every new in every new room. Okay. Oh, okay. Nope. Nope, not doing this. Not doing this. Fuck, I hate dolls. I know some people can just live with dolls or collect a whole shit ton of them and not be scared. Some people are scared of clowns. I like clowns, you know? Clowns never did anything bad to me. But I have lived... Not... I know I haven't lived. But I have spent nights at my aunt's place. And she has a lot of creepy porcelain dolls. And really sleeping on a bed that is surrounded by the, by porcelain dolls is... It is one heck of an experience, I can tell you that much. So it's not something I care to repeat ever in my life again. I cannot close that door. No, I can. Okay, fine. So that really was the last room. In this little veranda, we're gonna stop this whole charade. And we're gonna see each other next time. If I'm still alive. Thanks for watching. Please do comment and subscribe. Bye!